In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber the price of 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their goal will be to guess the price of each card as closely as possible. For each dollar away they are from the correct answer, they receive a point. As points add up, the lower the prize. Today, we see if your favorite YouTuber can win the $1,000 grand prize. DZ is a longtime Yu-Gi-Oh YouTuber and player with over 200,000 subscribers. He is known for his discussion videos about specific Yu-Gi-Oh cards and archetypes, and more recently, his series Master Saga and Master Roulette. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price. This is episode 14. Well, it was recorded 14th and then we didn't actually record so that I did 15. But so this is back to 14. It's like a rerun. This is round two with DZ. Yeah. He's already been through all, not these questions, but he's been through 10 questions. A different he list. actually finished fourth out of everyone and then he realized he didn't record his whole episode. So <sighs> It doesn't count anymore, he, but he does get to retry. So maybe this like, uh, you know, extra 10 questions will help. Do you think you're gonna do better or worse than last time? I'm hoping better, but man, you guys missed a legendary run. You know, there were a couple times where like I got it right on there, which was pretty crazy. You know, I, I think we were talking about that I had 10% uh, was the number at the end or whatever, which is good. And I hope I can do better. You know, you'd think I'd be able to, but uh, I don't know, maybe the questions are gonna be harder this time. We'll see. Yeah, so if you were expecting any DZ for related questions, those were in the last video that you didn't see so sorry now these are just random so we're just gonna have Multi to see how is he does. 50 cents <laughs> multi-faker is worth zero dollars by the way <laughs> we did that question one last time that is not in this quiz yeah so unfortunately for him that was one of the easiest questions he had we're gonna have to go into question one uh it feels weird because like we've already done this and yeah. nobody has actually seen it it just feels like it's the first time for them mm -hmm. but it's not really for us so let's just go straight into question one you know the rules you've done this before yep <laughs> Question number one, or should I say question number 11 for Doug? It is Charge of the Light Brigade, Secret Rare, First Edition from the Duelist Genesis. This is where we're starting here. I told you it's a little different than the multi figure. Yeah, yeah, a little different. So with Charge of the Light Brigade, I uh, I know this card has skyrocketed considerably over the years. I've owned, I think I actually do still own a couple unlimbs of this card, which are much lower than the first set as far as I know. Um, but I know this card was like, pretty expensive a couple of years ago because I did actually, so I, I had two unlimbs and one first set and I did sell the first set uh, probably three years ago, which uh, once we find out this card price, I'll probably cry about. But uh, yeah, I think this is definitely going to be in the tier two category. I doubt it's going to go all the way to 251. Um, it's kind of a tough first question though, because it could be all over the place could be anywhere. Yeah, I really like I really just have not paid attention. Like I know this card has gone up a lot, but I, I just have not paid attention enough. I actually think this feels so bad. No, there's no way I can pass the first question. I can't be that wrong. I mean, okay. you could. I mean, that's the last lifeline people use because they don't like it. It's like the least you like effective, I think. So if you were to swap this out, that might be a good idea because it's like the it's like the worst lifeline. I think. Yeah, I use it on the 10th question last time. Use it on the first question this time. <laughs> yeah, I, I, nobody knows that though. So it's all good. No, I'll just guess one. Yeah, no, I'll do the swap. I'll do the swap for the same tier. Okay, so you're, you're you're right in between there. So you were saying you thought it was in tier two. So keep that in mind for when yeah. you swap it out. Yeah. Because this next one could be in tier two. Okay, so you do in fact want to swap this card. No, no, no. I'll just I'll just guess 160 final answer. Just tell me how bad it is. <laughs> okay, all right. That that is the most back and forth I've oh, ever seen. Man. First is tier two. Well, I was telling like, you no, last I episode I that know. you know I'm the type of person to hold the full restores until after the elite four. So yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. You're uh, like ah, I just might as well save them for later, and then you just never use them. So. You started tier two, then you were like, I'm gonna use a lifeline. Then you're like, no, let's just go 160. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will tell you, you are right about the tier. So it's in tier two. Yeah. This card is worth $198. Okay, that is nowhere near as far off as I thought. I thought you were gonna say like 230, 240. No, okay. honestly, uh, when you said like uh, tier two, I was like, I think he's in the right like like right yeah. place. And then you were gonna swap it. I was like, uh, maybe not. And then you came back for 160. That was a pretty solid guess. Okay. I mean, last time multi-faker, you guessed $1 and it was <laughs> zero. So you were a lot closer then. Yeah, but this is great. also a tier two card, which is a little bit harder. So right. not a bad start. Maybe you can, you know, do what you did last time. We're just gonna have to find out. Let's go to question two. Yeah. 
Rivalry of the Warlords Collector Rare First Edition from King's Court. This one, I believe, is either $80 or $90. It did skyrocket in price for like a month or so. I think Pac had talked about it or something. Or Actually, I think it was yeah. like John mentioned that like it should be more expensive, but then it, it eventually <laughs> went back down. And um, yeah. I think that right now... So I looked at buying this card um, back at Niagara when I was thinking about playing Altergeist for a brief moment. And I think at that <laughs> time it was a bit more expensive. Maybe I'm wrong though, but I feel like this card is definitely, it's definitely under $100. I don't think it's over $100 anymore. Although, oh man, First Ed King's Court is probably actually more than I, uh, no, I don't. It hasn't been to played be in a fair, while. Yeah. I don't think there is an unlimited King's Court. Okay, so. is there not? That's actually one that I don't, I don't know. Think I, know so. I know I think Toon it's Chaos has an unlimited run. Okay, thank you, thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, they did never reprint this one. Okay, in that case, okay, that's good to know because that means that the prices I'm thinking of have only ever been the first ad price. So that's good. Yeah. Um, In that case, I will in fact guess, I feel like I saw it for $79.99 or maybe $89.99. I like just looked at this card last week. Um, <laughs> or apparently I did it, I don't know. I'm gonna guess 90, I'll guess 90, final answer. $90, all right. Rivalry of the Warlords, Collector Rare, first edition from King's Court. Yeah. You said 80 to 90. I was really hoping you'd split the difference. It's $86. Oh, oh but closer to 90, closer to 90. <laughs> I mean, you're technically picked the right side if you're yeah. gonna pick one of them. You're only four bucks off, you get that bonus. Hell Great yeah. start again for the second time. Okay, let's just go to question three. There's not a lot let's to say it. there, you crushed that one. Red eyes. Dark Dragoon Starlight Rare First Edition from Brothers of Legend. Okay, I'll tell you this. I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, uh, oh. I, uh, yeah, so this is one where I've, I don't think I've looked at the price in probably. Since it came out. Yeah, like, I think I kept track of it the first, like, month, and then I was like, eh, eh, who really cares? Because I feel like at one point I saw this card at 250, which seems. You know, I think 250 is like not that outrageous of a price because it's not really played. I mean, it's just not played at all. Like you can't play it right now. I mean, you can play in Dark Magician, I guess, but you know, whatever. Right. And, Are you saying Dark Magician is not good? Is that what you're trying to say? Um, you, they, you know, they took a hit when Anaconda lost. You know, they needed two multiple avenues to get there. But yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, it's still pretty play. sad. It's still play. <laughs> but uh, so I think that the, the Dark Dragoon um, is definitely not at its peak anymore. I believe that this is one that has not gone up in price. This might sound ridiculous uh, once we find out the price. I really think it's under 250, but how close? That's one where I can be like really wrong. I'm just looking at the lifelines again. Tell me which amount tier. I think I do know that. Lower, higher. Mm. I will guess. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I'll guess. $230, final answer. $230, all right. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, Starlight Rare, First Edition, Brothers of Legend. This thing's like You were, in million. fact, correct when you said it is below $250. Okay. It's $240. Oh, okay. You were so close. You okay. just didn't pass. It was so close. <laughs> I was about to That's say, I think guess, it's though. around that price. I think it's around that price. Yeah, you you absolutely nailed that one. Right off the bat, you were like with I almost passed that one on, at the very it. last second there, like the tier. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm just not going to say anything and just yeah. see what he says. Because like, I'm, just, I'm not going to interfere here. You're already <laughs> so close. If you want to switch it, you could switch it. Okay, question four. Hopefully this one will trip you up because uh, we can't be having you get like 1% again, okay? Or, <laughs> well, you know, you can't be improving on your yeah. score from last time okay we have blue eyes alternative white dragon blue letter secret miscellaneous promotional card so this is the one that they gave out and like the uh yeah like the twitter thing the, yeah. with the joan and stuff it's that version okay this is a wild one to put on here my first guess would be that this is 999 dollars like i think it's like really close to the cap i actually think this card's probably around like 800 dollars. i don't know I, i've never looked at the price of any of these blue lettered um cards i've never uh won any of them either Unfortunately, I really wanted this alternative. Looks very cool, but um, man, I this could be anywhere, like really, really anywhere. So I'm actually quite worried about it. This could be the swap right here. I'm gonna be honest, this could be the swap right here because- It seems like a pretty decent one, yeah. Oh, but I remember that they kept giving out these. So I feel like the price has probably gone down a little bit. So I don't know, it could be anywhere between 500 and $800 in my mind. And that's just like so, I mean, that's way too big of a it's range. It's a big range, yeah. I'll do lower or higher. You, sh you don't want to swap this one. Yeah, I think I can actually narrow it down if I do lower or higher. Okay. I think 
like okay. I think okay sure let's do I, it I like the the swapping the tier one I like to I, you know I, it's not the best one but I, I like it it's, it's an underdog okay you just um, like it to keep it just in case yeah something so I'll do lower or higher and I'll say six hundred and fifty dollars okay so you're splitting the difference between your 500 and 800 I like yeah. the strategy this card is higher than six hundred and fifty dollars okay so I'm gonna guess I mean it could just be 651 who but I'm gonna guess Could be. Uh, 700 and $25, $725, final answer. $725, the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. I'm gonna cut you off before you say anything else. This card is $749. I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like that worked out. <laughs> I thought you were disappointed. I was like, that's no, 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 insane. that's, that's, that's so no. Close. I was just like in disbelief that 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 strategy worked out because I really I have no clue on this card. Nice. You were very, very close because this is oh my gosh. like, I mean, this is a really high number. So it's a huge percentage of yeah. your total. Like that's what I was you're worried 24 about. 24 minus 10. So you're 14 off. So that is a big time guess for like your potential final score. Yeah, let's just go to five. Like that was that was well played. I'll give you that. That was well played. All right. This is the halfway point after this one. We have Book of Lunar Eclipse Starlight Rare First <laughs> oh Edition from gosh. Lightning Overdrive. And I want to oh, reiterate yeah. so far, two tier twos, one of tier one and tier three so far. Okay. So Book of Lunar Eclipse is a card that at one point I knew the price of, you know, when Gage was talking about it and everyone was kind of following the price of the starlights and stuff. Not sure if uh, <laughs> he ever got a chance to use that. But uh, I know this card is below $100. The question is how how far below? I feel like I've seen this card. It's definitely been at $70 before, but the question is, is this a card that could go to like $50? I mean, a $50 Starlight, what am I talking about? Like even the, that shitty trap card is, I think like 60 bucks. Storm Dragon's bucks. Return? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. Surely Book of Lunar Eclipse is more than Storm Dragons. Although that was actually from like a set that's hard to get. So maybe that actually increases it a little bit. I'll guess 70, final answer. I think it's like right around there. $70. Yes, Book of Lunar Eclipse, mm -hmm. Starlight Rare First Edition. This card is $96. Really? So you're in the right tier. But okay. yeah, it was like just under a hundred. Yeah, I can't believe that's the one that I've gotten the most wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh! Is that actually your worst one so far? I think so, percentage-wise, right? I don't know. Maybe charge was probably charge was probably charge was probably charge. <laughs> yeah, charge. Charge was the worst, but. Uh, okay, but still, I mean, really not bad because you're in the right tier. You're 16 off. That's nothing that's going to kill your score or anything. You're doing really well through the halfway point. Let's see how the back half goes. You do have two more uh, lifelines. Don't forget about that. You really haven't dropped one either. All right, question number six. We have the tra Trap Tricks Alamaris Starlight Rare First Edition from Eternity Code. Man, yeah, you are really throwing some that I do not know. Hey, well, you're basically like number 16 now because so there's yeah. been a lot of cards I've used. So I'm trying to I'm get to some random ones. Yeah, hopefully you can reuse my list for someone else. I'm going to, I think. <laughs> um, okay, so the Trap Tricks, I think this is like actually pretty expensive. I think this is over $250, I'm pretty sure. What question is this? Six, you said? Yeah, question six. Yeah, this will be your, uh, you have two of tier one, two of tier two, one of tier three so far. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is over. Oh, especially because it has to be over two. There's no way this card did not spike over 250 if it wasn't already there after the Trap Trick Structure Deck was revealed. Uh, surely that has made it crazy. But then that might have, it's probably hyped or something. Um, that actually kind of scares me. I think I might do... I'll do... Tell me... Uh, yeah, I'll do tell me the tier that it's in because i don't know if it's in tier two or tier three the trap tricks alamaris however you say this card is tier three i'll, I'll do 300 final answer 300 dollars final answer we've got the trap tricks alamaris starlight rare first edition from eternity code this card is 200 and $89. Okay, okay. Yeah. So it spiked a little bit. It spiked a little bit. Or how? what was yeah. it before the Trap Trick Structure Deck? Do you I know? have absolutely okay. no idea. <laughs> yeah, I've, I, I thought I it was like know, around but 200, but I can't remember. Yeah, it probably went up from a, like a tier two to a tier three card from after that. And you basically nailed it with your bonus. So nice. uh, yeah, very nice. You got four questions to go. You could still swap one card the rest cool. of the way. Keep that in mind. Haven't really dropped a big one yet. So you kind of got one to, to play with there. Mm -hmm. Let's see what number seven has. We have Pot of Duality Ultimate Rare from Astral Pack okay, 5. Okay, okay. 
Um, so I do know the tier this is in. This is in tier three. This is a card I have bought and sold and bought and sold and bought and sold a lot of times. I seem to be very fickle when it comes to Pot of Duality, I guess. I just never want to own it for more than like a year. I do know this card is quite expensive. I think it is near... 300. I think this card is pretty expensive because I know that like the last time I sold it, I remembered like regretting it quite a bit because I think it spiked like over a hundred dollars because I feel like I sold them when it was like 250 and then it spiked to over 300 after that. Is it still that though? I mean, it is being played in flu. So I feel like the card, yeah, it must be, is it more than 300 though? I'll guess 320. Final answer, 320. Pot of Duality Ultimate Rare Astro Pack 5. Mm -hmm. Doug, you were pretty confident about this one. I kind of was, but... But it's $200. How the mighty have fallen. It, it has gone down, the it seems, for whatever reason. I don't know why. I actually don't... You were so confident, I double-checked while you were talking. <laughs> because I was like, this guy, no, he's like, sure. So yeah. I was like, let me double-check. And there's multiple listed for, for 200 near mint. So oh, I don't okay. know what happened to this card. I mean, yeah, right, like you said, flu is still pretty popular, so... Like, but it's like just flu, right? Like nothing, literally nothing else. Oh, and Mystic Mine isn't in the format. That was the deck that played it, so now it's <laughs> half as many deck. I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess half oh as many gosh. now, so... The good side for you is you had one to play with. Yeah. So you can kind of throw this one out. It's mm -hmm. no big deal. But now you got to you got to be perfect the rest of the way. Not to have to drop another one. OK, question number eight. You could still swap one as well. So sure. let's keep going. Blackwing Armor Master Starlight Rare First Edition from Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> no, it's this card. <laughs> it's new, man. What is <laughs> I, I've I've never I've never seen this card's picture next to a price in my life. The question is, do I think I can logic my way into figuring out this card's price? It is a cool starlight. It's a nice you know crow card, but I feel like you know that that black winged dragon crow card already exists. It's not the first black wing, and it's not the first crow starlight. And it is an Edison reprint, but it's like I know a lot of people with older formats do like you. They might just use like the ultimate rare of this because they like using the the highest old rarity. Um, but starlights are cool. Oh my gosh, I don't know, dude. You do still have a swap if you want to use it. I really want to try to save this swap for the. <laughs> Next question. So your your breakdown, your tier breakdown could help you out a little bit because you have three tier two and only two of the others. So it's like between one and three, unless this is a fourth tier two before the last two. Oh, no, I think it's lower. I think it's low. I think it's like I, I'm almost willing to guess like 50 bucks. That's I'm just willing. I'm just worried if it's like that low. I mean, it's a starlight. I feel like I'm trying to treat it like a collector's rare, but it is a starlight, but it's in like Battles of Legend. It is a starlight. And like, but the Battles of Legend, we did see that Leviathan. Oh my gosh. I'll swap. Uh, it's, I'll guess $80, I'll guess $75, final answer, just get this out of my sight. $75, <laughs> yeah, get whatever. this out of his sight, he said. I don't want to see Blackwing it. Armor Master, Starlight Rare from Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. He doesn't like these Starlight Rares, apparently. That's what we've learned today. This is $90. Oh my gosh. A weight just lifted off my shoulders. I literally like felt that. I thought you were going to just say like $300, or <laughs> any number. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, okay. yeah, this was probably breathe. one breathe. of the cheapest ones in the set for sure. I mean, it's like it had to not... be. But what if it wasn't? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What if it wasn't? What if? It, I mean, it is new, so you never really know with the brand new stuff. It's just like really expensive randomly. So okay, not bad. You were only like 15 off, then minus your 10. You're looking good. You almost said 80, which would have been great. But uh, 75 still awesome. Let's get to the last two. You're still doing really well. Yep. All right, question number nine. Spirit Reaper Super Rare from Champion Pack 3. And then we have Blackwing Super Rare from Turbo Pack Booster 1. Bad news, I do not know either of these. Uh, not even a little bit, which is a little surprising. Okay. I knew Spirit Reaper at one point, but um, since like the the boom of old collectors or old uh, Champion Pack cards, I, I really don't know. With Black Whirlwind, I mean, it's the highest rarity, but I mean, Black Wings did get support. I'm just trying to think about which one of these I think I know the least. <laughs> yeah, to swap out. Because like the Spirit Reaper I'm thinking is pretty expensive, where the Black Whirlwind, I'm actually thinking it's not that expensive. And I think it's easier to guess things that are less expensive, less of a range, you know, if I'm just guessing right. under 100 versus anywhere. I think I have to swap... Yeah, I really, I have to swap the Spirit Reaper. I have no clue. No clue with the Spirit Reaper, unfortunately. All right, you are using your last lifeline. Yes, I've saved it till the end once again. Ironically, this fits in with your quiz, a one you've already done. 
So I don't know if that'll help or not. Who knows? We're just gonna have to see. Your new question, instead of the Spirit Reaper. Oh, by the way, let's give yeah. a let's give a guess for the Spirit Reaper, and then we'll, I'll tell you. Oh, what it is. guess for the Spirit Reaper. Uh, probably like three hundred is where I would have guessed. All right, three hundred. We've locked that in. Your new question: Palladium Oracle Mahad, the mis miscellaneous promotional cards. <laughs> so this is the same thing as the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, but a, a, obviously a different card. So it's the same situation. <laughs> Bro, <f> you. <laughs> you put two blue ones on here. It wasn't supposed to be. It's supposed to be a backup. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Um. God, do I know that one less? No, I can probably figure that one out more because at least it's like a recent card. But it's like, once again, is that one where they just gave it out over and over and over again? I feel like the one that they gave out a bunch of times was either United We Stand or the Guardian Angel. I think it was the Guardian Angel that went out a bunch of times. Um, how much was that Blue Eyes one? Did we? It doesn't even matter. This card's in such a different category. Yeah, the Blue Eyes oh, was $749. There's no way that <laughs> mod is that. I will just, you know, trust my gut here. These are the numbers that are in my head. I'm going to go. I don't feel confident about any of these. I'm just looking at this black rolling image for the last five minutes and just crying. <laughs> um, I'm going to go 450 on the Blue Oracle. Okay. And uh, 70 on Black Whirlwind. 70 and 450. Are those your final answers for the quiz? They are, in fact, my final answers for the quiz. Okay. First, we will do the Black Whirlwind. Then I will tell you. Actually, first, I'll tell you what <laughs> your spirit, spirit reaper is. Yeah. Doug. Yeah. You should have just stuck with the Spirit Reaper. No, 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 no. <laughs> the Spirit Reaper is $315. <laughs> You almost nailed it right on the head. Dude, I, I like, should have oh, known well. as soon as you started looking for the, the replacement and we couldn't find one. That was the sign. I should have said, nope, I'm sticking to it. Yeah, that should have been the sign. You should have stuck to it. Damn it. Okay. You did decide to replace it. Yeah. You said $450. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad, but it wasn't as good as the Spirit Reaper. Okay. It's $370. Okay. Okay. So it's all right. I mean, it, you're in the you're in the range. Yeah. So it's going to end up being 80 minus 10. So it's not terrible. Yeah. Black Whirlwind, this card, you guessed 70, is $150. So you're equally off on both oh, of them. So that's actually the, because it's percentage-wise that the one gets dropped, or is it the, the biggest difference? It's just gets... total, total number. Oh, total number, so yes. You're, yeah. yeah, so you're still dropping the Pot of Duality. Okay, that's gonna it, be yeah, it's drop. total number over total number. Right, right. Oh my right. gosh, Black Whirlwind, is that it? Ah, oh, geez, yeah. Messed it up on the final ones. It could have been the support that brought it up. It also could also be people playing in Edison as well. Yeah, that I, did, I didn't even think about Edison. Yeah, of course. Damn. Okay, let's total you up. Let's see if you beat last time okay. or not. We're going to have to figure it out. It's going to be close, I think. Let's hope. Are you ready, Doug, to reveal if you beat yourself and who you beat overall? I am ready. I'm ready to find out. So the total value of all your cards on this quiz yeah. was $2,468. You were off by $288. You also got nine That's... tiers correct, That's... which means you were $198 off. If you could do some quick math. Yeah, I'm seeing what you're saying. <laughs> you beat last time. Even with those last two, you beat last time. You were eight 0.02% nice, off. Nice, nice. So that would officially put you at third place. No, wait. Yeah, third place, 0.1% oh. ahead of distant coder. Oh, I passed coder this time? Ha ha. <laughs> so second time Doug is in third place. That's crazy. First like time Doug is just two, is just, yeah, last time you lost to Coder, this time you beat Coder. Yeah. So pretty impressive performance. Because we had all the issues, I am definitely down to honor this 8% in the giveaway. <laughs> so make sure you guys enter that for a $250 giveaway. Just like the video, be subscribed. Let me know how Doug did down below. Let me know if you wanted to see the original one. I mean, I can't actually show it to you. I just want to know if you actually were interested <laughs> Just <or not>. your <laughs> audio. <laughs> all right, Doug, how do you feel about the second performance? I feel good. These ones were a lot harder. I'll just tell you guys that right now. The other ones, there were a couple that like... I I actually got right on there and there were cards that I had a little bit more experience with. This was a tough quiz. I hope people don't think that uh, I got this score only because I retook it. I really think that this one was like 
I almost want to say like twice as hard. This was significantly harder than the uh, previous one, which is how it should be. But uh, great game show. And uh, thanks for having me on. Yeah, I feel like you uh, last time pretty much knew the ballpark of every card. This time you like kind of guesstimated a few. You yeah. just like nailed them a couple of times. So and it really was only a 2% difference. So you were pretty consistent about where you were at in terms of the the stuff. So you did, however, bump it up into that next category of $250 giveaway. So congratulations. This was awesome. Thanks for being on here. Make sure you guys go check out DZ on his YouTube channel and he sometimes streams on Twitch as well. So go check him out there and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya. Peace.